as mentioned, Michael Goins was no stranger to police. It was just last month that he was released from jail. Charges were dropped after evidence in another murder trial had changed. In fact, this court document, the last filed in that case. But make no mistake, Goins has been on the police department's radar since he was a teenager. Back in 2011, Michael Goins was a teenager heading to prison on gun charges. In 2013, he cut off his ankle bracelet and took off. Police caught up with him, but he eventually made parole. It's the same old story, unfortunately. He's a violent offender. He's been caught with guns over and over and over again. <clears throat> Gang member put on probation, cuts his ankle bracelet two months later, and he's still right back out in the street. Anthony Connor is the vice president of the Omaha Police Officers Association. He says it's sad this day had to come. Goins has been on their radar for quite some time. The union has been fighting the state's good time law that essentially halves all sentences. That includes Goins's. He's a monster. He's, a, he's just a violent offender that just don't have, um, there's no respect for life. And that's what you see in the gang culture. Had Goins served his whole sentence, he would not have been out of prison on Memorial Day 2015. That was the day Lamont Secret was shot and killed. Goins was later charged. For months, he sat in jail without bond until 48 days ago when the county attorney said there were changes in evidence. The charges were dropped, though Goins is still considered a person of interest to this day. Now police say he was the man behind a double shooting that injured one and left 55-year-old Barbara Williams dead. Whatever this beef was over, whatever this, his anger was over, he hits the wrong person and kills a grandmother. As it so happens, it was the very same day a judge had issued a bench warrant for Goins after he had skipped a court day for a slew of misdemeanors. Had police known where he was, Goins would have been arrested on that bench warrant. But going back to what the police union said, if he served his full sentence from 2011 when he was charged originally, he wouldn't have been a free man when the shooting happened on Monday.